Hello. As we're all struggling to deal with the disruptions in our day-to-day -day life from this pandemic, one of the most inspiring things has been the way in which the real-life heroes in our medical fields have been coming to help folks survive this and also to see what other people have been doing in helping to donate and look out for their neighbors. An unfortunate side of that is that many scammers use the generosity and the fear that may, people may have in these incidents to take advantage of you and to try to part you from your finances. So just wanted to talk a little bit about a couple of things you can do to help protect yourself. The first is many people I know are eagerly awaiting the arrival of their stimulus checks. And that is something that the government is sending to help you get through these times. There absolutely will not be a government agency or a bank that will be calling you to ask for private information to allow you to get that check. So if you should receive a call that's looking for your social security number, your routing number, bank accounts number, that is 100% a scam. The other is we've been getting reports of lots of both phone calls and door-to-door -door visits of folks offering to sell either testing kits for COVID-19 or offering some kind of online service or medication. Unfortunately, right now, there is no known cure or antidote for the virus. If you're concerned about that, you can look at the World Health Organization website and really learn what's out there. The other piece is if you want to give to one of these charities or you want to support something, a food bank or some other good endeavor in your community, you should initiate that giving. Please don't make donations to people who may call you or people showing up at your door looking for funds. That's just not a safe way to be giving money. And if you are able, please take an opportunity to reach out, whether it's by phone or email or some other way, to people that you know might be alone. Because often these scams take root and breed in isolation. So we're trying to make sure that people stay safe, help their neighbors, and not cause any more damage to your financial resources. Thank you all and please stay well.